yesterday afternoon, a communication was received uh, by Sheriff David Livingston at the county. And in that communication, which Sheriff Livingston shared with the Board of Supervisors and was then su subsequently shared with members of the public and obviously with our city uh, this morning, the sheriff uh, learned, and I quote, I was recently advised by the California Office of Emergency Services high-ranking officials that the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has said there will be no relocation camps established in Concord or anywhere in California, FYI, at this time. I just want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you so much for your great news today. And while that gives us hope, I feel like we still need to continue to bring our concerns to the table because the information we're receiving is not confirmed, it's not solid. And so I wanna invite the community to continue to con bring their concerns because this battle, while it is directly impacting Concord, it impacts our nation. This is not the town of discord. We will not be allowed to be made into discord. We started this meeting with the pledge, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Some of us said someday. That's wrong. It's not someday. It is every day. It is this day and forever this day. And they actually, the concept of having a detention center in the midst of such a flow of goodwill towards others is ridiculous. But I would like to remind you that while the outpouring here was great, if you look at the blogs and you look at what's around here, there is still a sizable group who are totally opposed to everything that we said this day and do not believe in the very statements that I just made and they're here, and they are us also. So our goal, our role, is not only to be a beacon for justice and liberty for all, but also to echo in our community the concepts of concordance, the concept of being together, of being a neighbor, of standing united, because there are still plenty in our own neighborhoods who need to hear that 